So today's title would be like uh, three things to consider when you, if you want to start a business during MCO. Okay, now before I go into that, right, I just want to give you an idea on uh, where I came from and what's the background and why you should, like, oh, who's Sean? Like, why should I listen to him? You know, okay? And for me, I started off as a civil engineer. I started when I was uh, 20 years old and 20 years old, younger civil engineer in the company. And after working for about one and two years, no increment, third year, no increment. And uh, after that, I decided, man, I didn't really want to work anymore. So, you know, you know, you know that feeling, no matter how hard you work, it's always the same pay, it's always the same, uh, the same, like, uh, income, all right? Then after that, I decided, okay, let's, let's go into, like, um, I went into e-commerce. So in e-commerce, I was selling, like, uh, phone cases. So in phone cases, um, phone case was all right. I still remember that time it was an uh, iPhone 4. So the iPhone 4, uh, I, sl I liked it very much, so I bought cases and I sold cases so that I could use the money and fund the cases that I wanted to buy, <laughs> alright? So that was the secret. And eventually, like, more and more people were entering the market to, like, um, they wanted to sell phone cases as well. So I wasn't the only one in the market, okay? I wasn't the only one selling, okay? Alright. And from a 20,000 per month income business, it became like a 2,000, it became like a 1,000, like a 1,000 or even like a 200 per month uh, business, right? So that was the tough, like it was a tough decision because I built that business from zero and I held, uh, I held on for about, uh, I don't know, I ran it for about four, four, four years and it wasn't doing very well. So my friends were telling me, let go, Sean, you need to let go. I say, no, I can't because it is my baby. I cannot let go. So uh, I held on for another two years and afterwards I decided, okay, you know what? This isn't working out. So I let it go eventually and it, it felt good. Although it was tough, but it felt good. Then after that, I went into property and in property, right? I can tell you one thing, like property, I thought it was going to be like easy. I thought it was going to be, uh, I thought it was going to be like, wow, the money will come rolling in and nothing happened. Okay, nothing happened. And you know, in six months, me and my wife, Crystal, we were in, uh, we were selling, I think we did about one case and six months, 600. Okay. Then after that, we went into insurance. So in insurance, right? So I want you to notice like the different kinds of experience that I've gone through. So, so at least you have an idea like, oh, okay, this guy has tried it before. And in insurance, we did it for three years and it was okay. All right. Uh, I believe in the product. However, one of the problems we faced was that nobody wanted to buy. Okay. No one cared. Um, anyone who was like, um, anyone who we wanted to sell insurance to, they would either say like, no, I don't want. The second one will be, uh, I already have my agent, okay? I already have my agent, so you don't need to talk to me about insurance, okay? Um, and the third one will be, I want to buy insurance, but you can't sell because he's really something wrong already, okay? Three years later, as an insurance agent, our friends started to drop. Our friends started to leave us. They, they were unfriending us. They were blocking us on WhatsApp. Uh, our family members also, like, if they can, they will ignore us, lah, all right? And after three years as an insurance agent, uh, I just left. Okay, I left. I didn't want to do it. I One of the things we had to do, cold calling. Hi, uh, I, I, I'm I Sean from uh, Hong Kong Insurance. Uh, we have a savings plan. You, you want, uh, you want, you want, are you interested? It's like, no, <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, and I hated it. Every single cold call I made, I just wanted to puke. Uh, yeah, I wanted to puke. So I let that go. Eventually, we went. I went into Grab Car. Now, Grab Car was okay because for like every week. Now, this uh, keep in mind. This was three years ago. Not not right now. Three years ago, as a Grab Car driver, right, every week I could earn about six uh, thousand six. All right, thousand six. That's okay, you know, not too bad. But more and more people were driving Grab Car up to a point where Grab Car said, "No, enough." Stop, we can't pay you so much. Uh, we're gonna cut the incentives, we're gonna cut the commission. 
And from 1,006 per week, it became about 800 per week. So that's like a half slash. Damn, okay, half slash. Okay, then after that, I went into different, different things like uh, web design, uh, digital marketing, and eventually I went into network marketing. All right, so network marketing, what company, what product? No need to know, <laughs> not, not the purpose of this video right now. Okay, so that was like, that is like the backstory of like my experience. And right now in the network marketing, in one year, we are like me and my wife, we are doing like about six figures every single year. Okay. And it's not like we have to you like, oh, nine to five, nine to six, like a full time job. No, <laughs> not really. Okay. So now we're gonna, now that you know where I'm coming from, now we're going to the real topic. Okay. If you're here, you're with me, just say hi so I know who you are, who is with, who is uh, watching this with me right now. Okay. And uh, so I can also say, uh, like, acknowledge you as well. All right. So, uh, three things to consider. Uh, during, uh, like, okay, three things for you to seriously consider if you want to start your business during MCO. Okay, this one is a big one. You don't want to miss. So, so there, I, I believe, like, a lot of people are looking for a job. They're looking for, like, a full-time, uh, part-time. Uh, it's up to you, okay? But for me, job does, just doesn't work. I hate working. I hate jobs okay i hate getting the salary the stupid low uh low stables uh, one two thousand per month i'm not gonna put myself through that um okay anyway not ranting about that i'm talking about business okay business that you can start on the side on top of your job business you can start from home on your own where you are in control of your time, you are in control of like when you want to work and how much you are earning, okay? However, there are too many opportunities out there and in this video, I just want to give you some tips on how to choose which uh, business for you, okay? First one, the first tip for you is the product, okay? And I know out there, there's a lot of different products. There's like the health, there's the beauty, like property, insurance, it goes, it's usually around this, okay? It's usually around this. But I want to, you need to ask yourself this question. Is it something that people want to buy? Let's talk about beauty, okay? Now, the beauty market, right? You ask yourself, how many people on your Facebook are talking about beauty? Your friends talking about beauty products? Are you sick and tired of seeing their beauty products on Facebook? If yes... Do you want to be another one of those sellers selling those beauty products? I don't think so, okay? Um, and face it, you can get beauty stuff everywhere. You can get it like anywhere online. There's like thousands and thousands of products and sellers. Can you be successful selling beauty stuff? Yes, of course. But your fight is very hard, okay? You have a very tough fight. Now, secondly is uh, health. Everyone wants to be healthy, right? Yeah, everybody wants to be healthy. They want to be uh, fit. But no one wants to exercise. No one wants to do the work, okay? And question, the, the next question, then the same question is this. How many people in your Facebook are doing health right now? How many people are talking about health? Are they making money? Do people want to buy? In every product that you sell, you need to ask yourself this big question. Do people want what you're selling or not? Do people want to buy what you're selling or not? And here, maybe you can tell, you can, you, you can, you can uh, tell yourself this big lie. I need to do what's passionate. I need to have passion for me to do something. No, you don't need to have passion for you to, uh, you don't, for you to be successful. Okay. Let me tell you something. Like say if someone, if let's say everyone in Malaysia is looking to have to buy a pen, but you don't like pen, you have no passion for pen, does it mean you're not going to be successful? No. You just need to take this and just put it in front of them and then they're going to buy it whether you're passionate or not. Okay, you understand? So this is the tip of uh, the big tip for number one, which is choose a product that somebody wants. Okay, you can health, beauty, saturated, you want, you can try it. Get ready to be disappointed. Okay, so that's part one. Second one is how much can you earn? Okay, and there's a lot of opportunities out there. So, okay, you can sell this, you can sell this, you can sell this, you can do this business, you can do this business. And how much can you earn? How much are you earning from there? Five ringgit? 
10, 15, 30, 40. Okay, we are not talking about a lot of, uh, okay, a lot of people have this mindset where, hi Helen, nice to see you. First comment, nice to have that. Okay, a lot of people feel like, ah, I want to start a business to earn some money. Now money is like, how much you want to earn? Five ringgit is money. You sell something, two ringgit is money. Is that enough? Okay, so you, you must make sure that the business that you start is able to, uh, is able to support you, is able to support your family. Okay, so make sure that the business you choose, right? Maybe the re the profit margin is high enough, is able to cover your expenses or break even, or maybe you can make money from that as well. Okay, and just so you, just so you know, right? People who are doing business together with us, uh, with me, myself, my wife, okay, they are earning about 5,000 minimum, okay, 5,000 minimum, uh, they are not working, there is no boss, there is no job, they wake up whenever they want, okay, they work whenever they want, and I think they are, they are doing about what, three, two, two hours per day, uh? it's about two, two, two to three hours per day, only, okay, it's not like the, your nine to five, job thing okay so make sure so we went through the two factors is the first one make sure the product is something that people want to buy secondly is make sure that how much you earn is able to support you in your income okay support your expenses now the third one is this okay you found something that uh okay this will work secondly is okay this the, this business can support you in your family and the last one the last thing to seriously consider before you start your business is the support. Okay, you don't you don't want to like say invest in a business and then you don't get any support. Everything is on your own. You're dead. Okay, you're dead. And if any problems, too bad. Okay, too bad. You're on your own. So you want to make sure that you have the support, you have the training, you have someone that you can reach out to so that you can, like someone, the best is to have a mentor or a coach. Okay, hi, Christine. Hi, Sing Miao. Okay, the best is always to have a coach or mentor that can guide you step by step through along your journey um, in your business. Okay. All right, so this is like, make sure there are systems. You don't want something that, oh, no system. There's no guideline. There's no manual. Uh, there's nothing and everything is on you. Okay, so in this video, in this like live video, I'm just doing like super quickly, like very quickly on like three things to consider before you seriously start a side business during MCO. And uh, this one, you really please do your research because a lot of people are getting scammed. Okay, they are, they are putting their money in places where they get cheated. Okay, and a lot of people out there are cheating people who are desperate. Do not be desperate to start because it's like, oh, I know a lot of people, oh, I want my passive income, I want active income. And they just take what the easiest thing they see and then they lose everything. Okay, do not expect it to be easy. But most importantly is you get support, you have the systems, you have the trainings, everything is there for you. Okay, so just to summarize everything again, three things. Okay, three things. Now, first thing is choose a product that sells. Choose a product that somebody wants to buy. Whether you like it or not, it does not matter. Your like does not matter. Your interest does not matter. Your passion does not matter. Sell something that somebody wants to buy. First one. Second one, make sure that your business can support your family. Your, 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 this business that you start is able to generate income to support your commitments. And the last one is whatever business you start, make sure that there is support, there is training, there is someone that you, that can guide you step by step so that you achieve the success. Okay. Now this one is just an overview of, uh, an overview just to give you some idea. Now I have some good news for you. For those of you who are with me right now, you watch up to this point. Well done. Okay. I have some good news for you. And if there's something that you want, just let me know. All right. And um, for your information, we are hosting like live webinars on, we call this the perfect MCO business. Okay. What is this about? Hi, Eileen. So what this, what is the webinar about, right? We call it the perfect MCO business to start for you to earn 10,000 a month. Okay. So this is the title of the webinar that we are hosting. So there is a, if you want to attend, okay, what we will cover with you is number one, the pro, the best MCO product that you can sell. 
Okay. Secondly, is we're going to show you five different ways on how you can earn ten thousand. And the third thing is the exact step by step guide, uh, the exact strategies that we're using so that you can earn your ten thousand per month. Okay. So what is this webinar? How do you how do you register for that? In the description somewhere below, there is a link for you to register for this webinar. Okay, the moment you register, I will get your details, then I will be in touch with you to tell you when is the next webinar. Okay, so once again, really appreciate you guys. Three things that you need to seriously consider before you start your MCO business. Number one, or your side business. And the first one is the, pro the product. Make sure it's something that people want to buy. Secondly, is that make sure that you can earn something substantial that can support you. The last one is how to do the training, the support system that is important. Okay. And we, we go deep into all these three things. Okay. The product, uh, how much you earn and what's, what are the, the support systems that we give you will be in our free webinar. We call it the perfect MCO business webinar. And how do you register for that? There is a link in the description. So if you're watching right now, you can even click the link and just register and I will be in touch with you to, to show you when is the next time slot. Okay. So, um, that's about it for today. Nothing simple stuff and keep it simple and stay safe. And okay, who's here? Okay, we have Helen, Christine, Sing Miao, Lim, and Eileen. Thanks for being with me on this live Facebook. And uh, take care, stay safe. And for those of you who who wants to join us in this free webinar that we are giving you, for you to start the perfect MCO business where we go through with you on the perfect product. First one, perfect product. Secondly, is the five different ways for you to earn. Uh, 10,000 in a month. And the third one is how to start with no experience. They, you will find that in our free webinar called The Perfect MCO Business. And for your information, a little secret for you. Um, this business will even work after MCO. It has been working well, super well before MCO. And right now, even much better. Okay. So register for the webinar and I will see you on the other side. I am logging off my live and I'm going back to my Facebook scroll, <laughs> Facebook scrolling and have a good night, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye.